T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 20 seconds and counting. The launch command has now been issued. Start. T minus 15 seconds and counting. The second umbilical tower is now separating. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off. Lift off of the Soyuz TMA 22 with Dan Burbank, Anton Shakotkarov, and Anatoly Ivanishin as they head toward the International Space Station due for your rendezvous and docking on Tuesday. Officer reporting good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. Stage one thrusters. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 20. And not about everything's okay on board. The crew feels good. Shikaplarov and even Ishan there continuing to look over their procedures. Pressure is not about. One minute into the flight, all systems nominal. Uh, the vehicle is stable. There's our first live view of Dan Burbank there, sitting in the right seat of the Soyuz. The motion is smooth. Anton Shikaplarov there in the middle, he is the commander of this vehicle. Nominal. And just to the right of frame is Ivan Nishin. All three crew members continuing to watch over the procedures and watch the performance of the vehicle. Stage two thrusters operated nominally. Everything's okay on board. The crew feels good. Copy. Uh, the flight controllers continue to confirm that the Soyuz is flying true and nominal. Vehicle. Inside the International Space Station, Mike Fossum, Sergei Volkov, and Satoshi Furukawa are watching inside the Destiny Laboratory. Copy you. As their fellow Expedition 29 colleagues head up toward the International Space Station, they'll be docking with Orbiting Complex coming up on Tuesday evening. Stage 3 thrusters are off. So separation confirmed. Confirmation of third stage separation. And as you can see from the angry bird floating up above Shikaplarov, the crew has reached orbit. I uh, am um, handing the control over to Mission Control Moscow. Have a good flight.
Mike Sefardini, International Space Station Program Manager. We are not at the North Pole, uh, but um, what a moment, a milestone moment. Um, your thoughts as uh, manned Soyuz missions are back in business. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting this crew on orbit and uh, getting ourselves in a posture to accept the next crew, get ourselves back up to six and uh, get on with uh, utilization. So it's, uh, it's an exciting moment for sure for the program. You know, the, um, it's been three months since the progress accident uh, that changed the plans, changed the launch schedules, and by our standards in the United States, uh, this weather would be almost unheard of to even think about a launch, but for the Russians, it's almost ops normal. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your thoughts as the weather deteriorated today, but the countdown progressed? Yeah, our Russian colleagues um, have been in this business of uh, long-duration space flight for, for a good while. And one thing they know for sure is you got to build vehicles that are robust, can fly in any weather, because uh, they take the view that it is critical to keep the supplies running to, to the vehicle on orbit, including the crews. And so they design vehicles like the Soyuz vehicle to be able to, to, to stand the weather conditions they might see out here in Baikonur, of course, while this is interesting to you and I, uh, or unique to you and I, because we live in Houston, this is the kind of weather they see uh, out here in the desert, and uh, and so they designed for it. So this this vehicle um, is a robust vehicle. They've got many many years of uh, flight time on this vehicle. Uh, they've evolved it over years, but haven't made major changes to it, and that's why they're able to uh, quickly solve a problem and get it back to flying, and why on days like today, when it's snowing outside, we can still launch. Mike, how critical was the launch in terms of the Russians aggressively tackling the problem that occurred back in August, getting back to flying and getting back uh, into a posture where the station shortly will be in steady state six-man operations again? Very critical. As we all know, we've talked about a lot since shuttle retired, is uh, this is this is the only way we can get people to and from the space station for a while. And uh, we need to have the people on board in order to do the research and maintain the vehicle. So this is a critical launch for us. God bless you, God help you on your journey and your work. Let you be successful and let your journey be fruitful. Поднимайся, 
Я не пускаю, все, стойте тут, все, вот так. Now it's over. Goodbye.